It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1848, recorded Thursday, September 9th, 2021. A flippin' good show. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Dickie D has not one, but what the heck is it? A true as seen on TV gadget. Can it cut a shoe? We find out live. And I have another crappy corner gadget for your gadgets. All next on The Giz Whiz! It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Rowing, rowing LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now, and here he is, as seen on podcasts, Dickie D. <laughs> How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very good. Excellent, <sighs> excellent. We were talking before about branding and and sub branding, and I remember. Do, do you know a uh, Do you remember a brand of audio called Techniques? No, you I don't. Remember. You may not have. Okay. So it was interesting, is because uh, Panasonic was made made a ton of uh, audio components, and they decided they wanted to do get into the high end. Uh, audio components, but they felt the name Panasonic made people think middle of the road. Yeah. So they started a new brand called Techniques, and the stuff was really is this it beautiful, and one <laughs> I'm looking at some of those prices. Yeah. Holy <laughs> moly. Yeah. Oh my god. Is this still Maybe going? That? Is this like no? Oh, okay. So these are all yeah. resale, which is, you know, m it may make it even yeah. higher end. But the problem was they also came out with a line of incredibly high end components that were small for like apartments and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was a big failure. And, and I spoke to someone from Pioneer and he said, you know why? We did surveys, and people thought, if you spend a lot of money, it should be big. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right. funny? This is, this is in the days of the stereo system, you know? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I remember I was in Macy's once, and, and uh, Macy's back then had an audio department, and this person came in and said, uh, I need a hi-fi system. And he said, uh, any particular specs? And they said, yes, loud. It needs to be loud. <laughs> and I'm talking, now there is an audiophile. <laughs> uh, uh, so you're right. In that case, probably the biggest speakers they could show would yeah. be the ones that they would say, oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. amazing. This is, <laughs> this is fantastic. I mean, yeah. yeah. I feel like when it comes to audio equipment, I am such a layman. I have, I have no, I would be that guy saying, I want it to be loud. Because yeah, how you go from, you know, like, a con I've been to a few concerts, some sound amazing, some sound perfect. And then you go to others and they're just absolute trash. And you can't under, it's like, I remember listening to this on the CD and this is nothing like what it sound like. Um... How you get there? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think what's happened is that in general, audio has become so amazing, almost at any price. Yeah, that if someone gives me two hundred dollar headphones and eight hundred dollar headphones, I don't think I'm going to say, "Oh, oh, right. oh, take off these two hundred dollar ones. Right. They're hurting my," you know. Right, unless it, they're the like the free headphones you get from the airline. Like I won't yes, be able there you go. There to you tell go. the difference. Yeah, absolutely. And also, I I feel like I've just read too many articles that are like. These speakers for $35 are incredible. These are the best for mono price, holy moly. And then, you know, that makes me worry. Like, should, am I just overpaying for some brand? You know, do, yes. should I even be buying, you know, multiple hundred dollar speakers anymore? Um, well, so, yeah. nowadays with headphones, does anybody even 
by speakers. Exactly. Exactly. And also, there's definitely a point where if it just works and it's not actively impeding your life, why take any more steps from there? <laughs> you know, if I put in my AirPods and they sound just fine to me, I can listen to an audiobook and get on with my life. I think, I, you know, that's good enough for me. Um, no, so, yeah. That, that's good. That's, that's good. That's so funny. Uh, um, any, anything, anything else thrilling in your life? Not anything happened big? Not really. Not for me. Um, just trucking along with YouTube. Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing fresh. <laughs> anything, anything from on I, you? I had a funny conversation at Verizon today. I got rid of my, uh, one of my landlines uh, because. The Verizon landlines in the city are ridiculous because the, they don't work 90% of the time. And I was thinking a couple of nights ago, you know, what? in an emergency, if my uh, DSL went out, I could just fetter my phone and use that. And I, and I wondered what kind of speeds would I get? So I, I have an, an older phone, an LG G8. So it's like two years old. Um, and I look in the little guidebook and it says plug in the cable into the uh, USB-C jack and then directly into your computer and then go to settings and click on USB uh, th tethering. I have trouble with that word, except tethering is grayed out. And I thought, hmm, what, does Verizon, do you pay an extra charge or something? So I, I stopped in Verizon today. Um, and I explained, and they said, no, with your plan, there's no extra charge. You just plug it in, and it goes. And I said, well, I plug it in, and that option is grayed out. And she said, I'll go. I'm new here. I, this is my first day. I will go in the back and ask. And they came back, and this was the solution. Wi-Fi has to be on. Uh, wait. Or... Yes. Wait a second. I, I said, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't want to use the Wi Fi. The Wi Fi <laughs> is not working, which is why they said, no, no, it has to work for a minute so that the phone knows <laughs> to switch. What? She said, she said, no, you go home and you try that. I said, well, I will. <laughs> I, Did it work? <laughs> That'd be really. Uh, 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 I um I would try, but my my computer would laugh at me, thinking. Yeah, Wait. you just have to anticipate the blackout. Okay, so just yes. moments like, before oh, you lose your internet. Wait, it's starting to blink. The Wi-Fi's blinking. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, hmm. So Chris seems Bacon, like there's a different. Work around for that. It seems like there should definitely be a different way to get that to work. There's something uh, personal hotspot. I'm wondering oh, if the wait a minute, Scooter X says Wi-Fi radio has to be on. So if I'm if it's cable hooked up with a cable. So there Scooter is. I, I know that there is a way to get you know internet via USB, but it, there's a chance. That your phone can't do that. If that's but you read that in instructions somewhere or no, that's what they told me. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no, my, my phone can do it because it's an option. Okay. The USB Except tether. The option is grayed out. Got it. So most phones can do a hotspot with Wi-Fi. So um so you may just need to keep the phone charged. Uh, or you don't have to keep it charged, but just right. to you know keep the battery going. Um, and then use the the hotspot feature over Wi-Fi. So you just connect your computer okay, but to the phone. Isn't cable? Isn't USB a better signal? You would th you would think it would be more you know robust, but um, I I just wonder I wonder how if they've actually you know developed that as much as just plain old Wi-Fi because I think I most people. No would just use Wi-Fi. I'm sure that it, it works. Yes. Turn on tethering and your phone becomes a Wi-Fi hotspot. I was trying to use it via USB thinking that would right. be better. And I, right, well, I, I have personally gotten a hotspot to work via USB, um, but I was using an iPhone and a Mac um, at the time. 
And oh, okay. I, my thought was the same thing as yours. Is like, it's going to be more robust. It's going to go down less, you know, if you don't have Wi-Fi in the middle and you have a cable. Um, but if you're in a, in a situation where you just have to have the internet, possibly just doing Wi-Fi. Yeah, uh, I will do that after the show. I'll yeah. just try Wi-Fi and see what kind of... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, get. that's interesting. Nowadays, Wi-Fi hotspot. Interesting. Jeff, Jeff Adams says, older phones did that. Nowadays, Wi-Fi hotspot. And the internet over USB always kind of felt a little hacky. <laughs> Like it was always like, even on my Mac, it was like this buried option of like, okay, I'm gonna <laughs> use the USB as the adapter, as the internet adapter. Um, and so, you know, there's a chance it's just okay. better All right, supported. well then there, might, there could be a, a grain of truth to this somehow. But that's a, a little, so it's a little sketchy because what she's basically telling you is connect via Wi-Fi. <laughs> But yes, plug in ridiculous. your phone. It, 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 but what 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 uh, Scooter X said is that the Wi-Fi radio has to be on. Maybe there's something to I don't know. There might be something to that too. Is that the Wi-Fi yeah. the hotspot option is only turned on when it's also doing Wi-Fi. That like could be when it's doing that. Wi-Fi hotspot at the same time. You know, it could that could be the thing that turns on the switch for the USB tether to work. Um, it's very good. But yeah. Uh, right, we're getting dangerously close to teaching people something which is <laughs> not in the bylaws. No, no, nope, no. Nope. Let's jump in to some okay, good old-fashioned gadgets. Okay, let's jump gadgets. in. Let's start with the first. What the heck is it? And Ooh. here it is. All right, it's another what the heck is it, Dennis. ta -da! What the heck is it? It's for toilet paper. Uh, oh my gosh! I what? didn't even have to give him the no second way. clue. <laughs> oh, you didn't get that? Oh, yeah. No, no, I didn't. But not an right ordinary there. toilet paper holder. Now, as the Gizwiz, what might be different about this? Um, uh, it has to have LEDs. <laughs> it Bluetooth has speaker. LEDs in it. Oh, it and does! You thought you were kidding, man. Okay. Uh, Dennis has, has right, been so around this, this show for far too long. <laughs> yes. The Vibes LED toilet paper holder. Now, uh, you're supposed to attach it to the wall with these two uh, sticky pads. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, I don't think that would one. hold up. I'll tell you the one tell good me. thing about, about this is if you... Uh, buy those mega rolls and oh, have an in-wall toilet paper holder. Those mega rolls don't fit. Oh, yeah. So this, you can have an unlimited roll. And um, the thing is, it doesn't come on automatically. You have to come in and you have to push that little button. But it's pretty neat. But wait, there's more. Okay. So if that's not enough... Da -da! There is the LED <laughs> toothbrush holder. You know, it's the uh, only classy way to go. It's changing color. Yeah. It is changing. Oh, they're matching colors for a second there. Uh, that you don't need any adhesive pads. That just sits on your sink. But wait, <laughs> there's more. What could possibly be left? Uh, a cup? Uh... Yes. Pill container? What? The LED towel holder. <laughs> what? From Vive. All right. Did this come as a pack? I mean, this is a no, classy bathroom. No, they're all sold separately. When you go into this bathroom, uh, the sticky pad. If I go into someone's bathroom and it doesn't have matching toilet paper. Oh, this I really think is not going to work. When toothbrush and towel holders. Towel, it's just not a classy you establishment. slide the towel off. This is not going to happen. Um, oh, that one does And this just lights up at the end. Let's not. Let's, <laughs> let's bask in the glory <sighs> of this bathroom. Okay. Oh, what is this? This oh. one out now? Oh okay. oh, okay. This one has a sensor in it. So when you walk in the bathroom, this one will come on. These uh, have to be set manually. Now, they're all from five below. Okay. Uh, that was, and that's good. Five dollars. Um, if you're just buying this at five below, it's five bucks. Five below 
actually sells this also online for ten dollars but that's okay because if you buy it online it's five dollars and uh, six dollars shipping 5.95 shipping uh, for anything in that order from five below another five bucks here this on uh, amazon is 15 bucks so if you like this uh go to five below uh you know this has a way you know i don't know of course usually because bathrooms are tile. tile i don't, I don't know. know how you're gonna yeah, you'd have to like they want anchor. you to put a screw in there so that you can use these. Anchors. Also, it's still plastic. That would be which your problem. <laughs> seems I like a towel holder should be metal. You have to find out how to use it. The easiest is this, okay? It just sits on your sink. Um, so they're all branded by the uh, BE, and which I believe is the Five Below brand, house brand. But if you like things that light up, it takes so little to entertain me. I hate to turn these off. Um, that's it. The gives with oh, and it's a chinning bar. But you have to use a <laughs> lot of adhesive tape if you're gonna do that. Or you gotta lose a lot of weight. Oh weight. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh Marsworm says uh the funniest thing, no LED toilet seat? <laughs> No, well, you had one once. I did. It you? hooked over the the edge. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. And I gosh. had, uh, I had something called the navigation light. If the toilet seat was up, it was green, so you knew that that men could use it. And if it was red, the toilet seat was down. I don't remember. Oh but my it was, gosh. Um, yeah, so they're out of, uh, they seem to be out of the towel rack. There's the uh, toothbrush holder. Yeah. And the to when you and brought this the out, I almost said, this seems like a five below product. <laughs> I almost said it, but I held back. Oh my gosh, that is too funny. Oh, and they do have the toilet. <clears throat> Go back up. There oh, there's the, the, the towel right. bar. Oh, the towel bar is there. Oh, and it's five bucks. That's, that's a good deal. Yes. Piece. So there's yes, on the Amazon it was fifteen, toilet. but there you go, fifteen bucks, folks. Yeah, and all, and there's the light, the motion sensor toilet light. Oh yeah, the toilet bowl light. Yeah, that I covered. Wow, yep. <clears throat> for twenty bucks, it's like disco in a small room. If you need the uh, soap oh, dispenser, the, uh, soap dispenser. <laughs> or the, golly, and the LED faucet attachment. I I truly. A hundred percent. I would put my money in the stock of the company that, or I don't know, RGB LEDs are going to look, I mean, they already look cheesy, but in 10 years, they are going to be the thing that defines like old school crummy. Like it's like the nineties with the neon clothes. Yes. <laughs> it's yes, going to yes. be RGB LEDs for the two thousands. Um, that is ridiculous. That's very funny. Very funny. Uh, man, that is too funny. Um, so if you need to ha have a disco bathroom, five below. There you go. Everything is, is uh, each one takes three AAA batteries <laughs> and you're set to go. Wait, wait, you can't use my bathroom. I need to change the batteries <laughs> in my towel bar before you see it. And when you use the toilet paper, use it gently. Don't gently. pull it off the wall. Yes. And try not to pull down on the towel. Yes. Because yes. And when they're halfway through. Oh, I, oh, I'm sorry. You you meant to. You need to push the button in the <laughs> toilet paper roll so you get the full experience. Push the button in the middle there. Ah, uh, that is too funny. It is funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so now, so that we can prove it as seen on TV, uh, let's start with a, a minute or so of their commercial. Um, I sent you a link to that. Here it is. Oh, 
No audio in a second. But, oh, Stop okay. crushing your food instead of cutting it. What a mess. And don't use fixed edge sharpeners that grind down and destroy your knives. Introducing the Bavarian Edge, the innovative knife sharpener with independent spring action arms that will make your old blades razor sharp in seconds. If you want the sharpest knives possible, Look you at this. need the Bavarian Edge. Look, it's so different because it has two independent spring action sharpeners made of ultra hard tungsten carbide that flex and contour to any blade or angle for the perfect razor sharp edge in an instant and only bavarian edge can sharpen serrated knives Whoa. watch we dulled this serrated knife on a cinder block and with just a few passes through the tungsten carbide sharpeners on the bavarian edge it's as sharp as a razor even cutting through a leather shoe without effort your old knives will fillet cut chop slice and dice just like the day you got them with the bavarian edge this frozen steak is rock hard and a butter spreader isn't for cutting but after no, just a few it's passes through the Bavarian Edge, it's so sharp it cuts right through this frozen steak like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> we took this credit card and tried to cut this tomato. It just won't work. You, Simply it pull like the it was card working. through the Bavarian Edge a few times, and now it's sharp as a razor. It cuts this tomato with ease. Well, you know, Other can knife you stop sharpeners it there for can cost a Yeah? If you just go back a I little swear, bit. It was okay, cutting. So, <laughs> yes, but... Um, this is what, yes, this is what <laughs> we saw on the, um, uh, what is that show called? <laughs> I just said it before. Um, da, 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 da. um, the show? it's an expose kind of show inside oh. edition. Oh yes. Okay? Yes. Yes. They say that if you look quick, you'll see that there is a slit in the back of the tomato so <laughs> that he knows that. So can you sort of go through frame by frame? Uh, well, uh, for, uh, yeah, sure. The, the first thing that I notice, here, right. let me make sure that I'm uh, selecting this page, is that it's, it's cutting in. This is when it's dull, right? He's trying to show that it's dull right here. Yes. And it goes oh, in. This? It cuts. Oh, once. you're right. I guess it's pre-scored <laughs> everywhere. You're absolutely right. Look at right. that. It actually cuts in. Trying to cut this tomato. It just won't work. He does it's spin it. We pull the card through the right. Bavarian edge and a few times. And there's a little toward the back. You see, see that dark spot that he's going to put the thing down in oh, right there. Yeah, it's slit. <laughs> it's slit already. And that's what. That is too funny. Inside edition found. That is too so, funny. Yeah, yeah. And but also, it's okay oh. because. I Cuts do this. this. <laughs> you have a credit card. You have the Bavarian Edge. I do. I do. So we can go to. Oh, I'll just run it one more second. Are we out of, uh, out of their ridiculous claims? Yes. Yeah. It, it okay. just talks about uh, pricing. So run, run my video. Okay. okay. Here we go. He, uh, here is your one take theater. It's the chef of the future. You saw the commercial. Now we're going to put. The Bavarian Edge knife to the test. You need the knife to. I could have done a That's kind of cool. Oh, whoa. Yeah. -da -da. I want to thank the Academy <laughs> and all my fans for the Bavarian Knife Award. Every time I hear Bavarian, I just want to pretzel. Okay, so. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, I just want to make sure it had those two uh, sharpeners. The, the one there and one there. Okay. I have a feeling that mine's not going to light up and glow the way it did uh, in the ad. All right. Yeah, so good. I guess the only thing you need to know is that you pull it through. Okay. All right, so we're going to do two things. We're going to sharpen a credit card and cut a tomato, as he did. And I'm going to make my special filet of soul <laughs> using real soul. Have you seen this? All right, so... The trend where... It is it a cake? We, do, we really have you seen that? Is spend it a cake? The money on this show, doesn't no. It? All right, so basically, some people it, make cakes sort of sharp, Dennis, that are so real yeah, they look like any. 
Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ew, I didn't see that. And that's serrated. So we're gonna cut. It seems like. Oh, man. Originally, I was gonna be wearing them, but then Dennis said, "No, don't do that." <laughs> All right. So. Oh, Bavarian okay. cream donuts. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cannon cut with ease, like a well, knife through butter. Like an end cut, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, toe or heel? What's the <laughs> one take there to take two? All right. So we watched the commercial again because Dennis thought uh, I was doing it wrong, and I was. All right. So it's going to see if this makes any difference. We faced it. It, it we seemed faced like it the other way. He he, doing, he said that uh, that's the way the guy does it. This way. So just to be sure. Okay. Now it's just out of order because I dropped so this let's piece see. in. What did I do with my? Oh, okay. Stay there. I'm gonna get my shoe again. <laughs> I see a cut tomato. I see a cut tomato. So sharp now. Watch your fingers. What what it turned out, and I didn't realize it, is uh, that earlier. I don't think. The credit card I think it makes cut the shoe. Okay. <laughs> the big deal. ta -da! The tomato. And just so we don't reveal any numbers, I'm using an expired op. Just He did one. Just a couple of. Oh, I can see plastic. Yes, yes. Wow. The thing is, maybe really any funny. knife shop it really works. Probably. You know what? It did put an edge on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, oh. Well, you know what? It's cutting. Not quite like mm -hmm. he did. But uh, I will say. It did cut a tomato. Who needs a knife? And it did put an edge on that card. Where's that shoe? Where's my shoe? Can I cut <laughs> If only shoe? we had plastic knives. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. Huh? That's very funny. What's your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, the man of reason. She it does. You know, it's it does better on cut. shopping credit cards. <laughs> And it is on sharpening a knife. Okay. It's funny. Look at this. It did a better job with this. With, so with this if you need a, a, it a knife to cut shoes, this is the one to get. That is the weirdest sound. They also I know. I have an world. idea that I'm yeah. back to doing it, it the wrong like side. Although I don't know why it makes a Bummer. big difference. Yeah, you would think... That doesn't really matter. Both. Well, the thing I doubt is, if Amazon's how often do you cut back. toes off shoes? Not I that probably. What, twice Did a you year? use this to sharpen a knife to cut um, a shoe? All right, so it's not a total disaster with the credit card, although uh, we're going to go back and look at that commercial again. But we already Somebody did. found that the tomato had a little pre-cut in it. And we'll go find it. Uh, Inside Edition did. All right, so it is um, under twenty dollars, and let's see, it got wow, eight thousand reviews, and what? how many stars did it get? Uh, Four point three. Said it was the first review on, on uh, Amazon. It probably changes daily, but it said. So I watched the commercial several times. I did exactly as they said, and it was amazing. My knife came out worse than when I started. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of terrible reviews, but somehow it got uh, 4.2 or 4.3 stars from uh, like 8,000 people. That's it. Bavarian Edge. Huh. Well, I don't yeah, I think so... I mean, I, I actually tried it again today because Dennis bought a loaf of uh, French bread. And I thought, oh, you know what? The, the, the knife in my kitchen w is very dull. So I tried to cut the bread. And then I brought this thing in. And I ran it through a few times. It did nothing. I ran it through a total of probably six or seven times. And it cut the bread a little better. 
But right. it's nothing like that ad where the guy throws a tomato up and he cuts it half as the tomato falls. <laughs> right. And the right. pineapple. Right. <laughs> Maybe gold card. You need a platinum card. That's the that's the thing. Yeah, you need that's the black, what you need. You need the black that's card. What you, you know, that would be good because um, those high-end cards are steel. <laughs> but we've learned it can't sharpen steel. It has <laughs> to sharpen plastic. <laughs> yeah, and so you're then exactly it right. works you're great. You're exactly right. Yeah. Uh, so here it is on Amazon, 20 bucks. And you're right. It has really good reviews yes! on Amazon. Uh, it's so funny because the individual reviews all seem to say it's a piece of crap, but yet, um, pile of junk, cheap plastic, <laughs> terrible, don't waste your money. They're all one star, but somehow it has these it, great reviews. Isn't that a riot? Isn't I wonder that if they riot? bought a lot of really good reviews. That's so funny. Um, now, if 20 bucks is too much, you can buy this on AliExpress for oh five dollars gosh. <laughs> and a dollar shipping. Oh, even so, so this the, as seen on TV, people are uh, label relabeling either that or or they you know yeah. had it developed. This is exactly and then, the thing you were talking about yeah. is to find a gadget for like five bucks. Make a commercial and sell a billion of them for twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, I love in the commercial. Um, I wrote it down. Oh, the commercial says, "And now you can double the offer. Just pay a separate fee." <laughs> I, they might as well say, "And get five of them. Just pay five times as much." <laughs> That's funny. I just loved it. Yeah. Uh, Okay, the Bavarian anyway. Edge. Edge. Uh, uh, all right, so now oh, one it's... more. What the heck is it? Here we go. It's time for another what the heck is it. It's going to be more difficult because it's Air. invisible. What? Okay. No, all right, Dennis, are you ready? Imagination. Ta what the heck is it? What? Uh, 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 There's threads? Uh, 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 uh. Is it like a bomb rocket? It's a launching stand? pad. Yeah, a launching pad. pad. Yeah. Close. I like okay. that idea. Tell me if this helps. Uh, but, no. Uh, it has to uh, go on a bottle. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 okay. And then one more thing. Mm. Okay. It is. All right. It'll be a dead giveaway. It's an ant spaceship. When I tell you that oh, no. it is called <laughs> Flip It. <gasps> Ooh, I like okay. this gadget. This is very Flip clever. Flip It, the bottle emptying cap. Just open and squeeze. All right, so this is really, uh, well, I don't know if it's a great solution because <laughs> I haven't used it yet. But uh, I do not use aftershave lotion, but I do aftershave use uh, a body lotion. And when this gets toward the bottom, it's, it, it comes with a pump thing. You can feel that there's a lot of lotion in there, but the pump can't get it out. And then on Amazon, I bought one of these long sticks with a sponge at the end. <laughs> A mess that me. <gasps> then I saw this and I thought, well, let's see if it works. So basically, you find the cap that fits, okay? Uh, you get the big cap and then you get three adapter cats, a uh, caps, and then you get these little, uh, Filling rings that go in here to take up the uh, slack in case there's any room so they don't leak. And the object here is you find the right cap, which I think I did. You turn the bottle upside down, and it says wait a reasonable amount of time. I don't know how long that is. Uh, I did this this afternoon, so it's probably four or five hours. So I could not get anything out of this bottle. Now you pull down on this, okay? And that, uh, does it actually open? No, you just so you have to squeeze the bottle. It. There you go. And then you squeeze. Oh, okay. 
squeeze out what you want, and then you push it closed again. All right. So I'm just going to put it on my hand. I'm actually just going to wipe it off here. So that works really well. And the cap is kind of designed neatly because if the cap is open, see they put these two notches on here. If the cap is open, it says when you put the bottle in, if the bottle is wobbly, you are putting it on with the cap open and whatever you is in the bottle is going to run out. So that was very clever of them to do that. So you make sure it's closed. Then this will set, sit evenly and you get two of them. All right. So I got one on the bottle and I have a whole spare one. You get two of them for 14 bucks. Okay. So they're seven bucks each. It got 4.5 stars from over 4,000 uh, ratings, okay? So that's that. That's the kind of bottle I had with the pump. And then this is how you use it afterwards. And it said it's good for condiments. Um, I think it's very clever, reusable. You get two stands, six adapters, and it's very reasonably priced. And if you need a, if you have a bunch of bottles or a whole family, you can get six of these for 20 bucks. Okay, so that's, I can't do the math. Uh, so three, uh, like 325 each, something like that, 350. That's it. Flip it to get oh, everything out of the bottom of a bottle. Interesting. <clears throat> yes. Now they said that according to consumer reports, on many products, up to 25% of what is in the bottle does not come out. <laughs> I believe so, it. That's an incredible waste of. I believe it. Your money, yeah, I do too. Especially things that are, you know, like a lotion that's kind of on the heavy side. You you can feel it in there, yeah. but you can't get it out. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we we have the amazing um, chat room. Scooter X and Marsworm have done some research. And first, they found the Flip It commercial. Do you want to watch the commercial for yeah. Flip It? Yeah. So here it is. How many times have you been here, struggling to get the last few drops out of a bottle? You try pumping, shaking, pounding, and pumping some more, but those thick liquids refuse to come out. Introducing Flip It, the time and money-saving solution you've been waiting for. Simply remove the old cap or pump, screw an adapter into a base, then attach them both to your bottle, and flip it. Let gravity do the work for you. Within moments, even the thickest products slide to the opening, where the no-mess valve keeps it ready to come out. No more shaking or pounding. No more wasting your time. No more wasting your money. I'm done struggling at sandwich time. With Flip It, this job just got easier. <laughs> food grade and BPA free, Flip It's are safe to use on those thick food items. Easy to clean and built to last. Flip It's fit the Cool, I think we get it. Um, yeah, I, uh, that's a clever idea. They also found this is a Shark Tank product, apparently. Oh. Um, Shark Tank. And, uh, and here, let me see. Let's find the Amazon page for, there we are. Here's the Amazon page. So $13.99. But if you want a deal, you can find it on AliExpress for four bucks oh and $2 my shipping. God. And you get six. Wow. <laughs> Um, you know, we give, we give Alibaba and, and whatnot, you know, a bad rap, but I think a lot of times this could also just be stolen intellectual property. It could be either. It could either be someone buys it, labels it and sells it. It could also be, they went to China to have it manufactured that, you know, factory decided to make a ton. You never know. Yes. Um, yes. so anyway, that's it. Flip it. I like this. This is, this is pretty cool. And um, I love the adapter idea because there's no, the threads on one product to the next, uh, I don't even know if three adapters are enough. I could just imagine <laughs> uh, these not being very standard. Um, but that's great. Flip yeah, it. Flip it. I think it's pretty good too. Yeah. Um, okay, that brings us to... Oh, yes! <gasps> you know you don't need it. But you might want it at Chad's. 
Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. We have this gadget right here. And I reviewed it in a video. So well, let's check that video out. Boop. Hey Diggy D, so we are back with another gadget for your gadgets. Uh, crappy corner and this week we have the home office lap desk it has a place for your computer your phone and even your mouse it has a little mouse pad integrated in on the bottom we have some pads these pads feel like they are filled with styrofoam beads so that's kind of nice it obviously go on your lap like this i'm gonna turn around so you guys can see your laptop would go here. Your mouse would go on this mouse pad. It's not very wide, but it is very tall. And then your phone could go into the phone oh. holder, just like that. I'm gonna sl uh, slide it around for me. And it has a little stop for your, your laptop, so I could easily be working here. Check my phone. So this is pretty nice, this is pretty nice. Um, let me switch out, this is a very tiny laptop, an itty bitty laptop, maybe only about 12 inches. I'm gonna switch it out for this laptop. This is about a 17 wow. inch laptop. Whoa. And uh, it does hang off the edge over here on this side. Uh, most people don't have 17 inch laptops, uh, but if I open it up, I still have some space for my mouse pad, if you wanna use the, the mouse pad. And then of course this dock for your phone uh, works works uh, really, really well. So, all in all, ugh, even with this big, beefy 17 inch laptop, I would say that it's really nice. It would obviously keep the heat off of my legs. Uh, it does prop the whole situation up and it gives me a space if I want to use a mouse instead of the trackpad on, on my laptop. And I really enjoy, and I think this is at a very good angle and is really good, this spot for my phone. So uh, all in all, I think that I like it. Uh, and it has a nice carbon fiber finish uh, along the top, top which is uh, pretty good. Whoa. So there you go, the Home Office Lap Desk by Lap Gear. Back to you guys. So it's 25 bucks. Oh um, gosh, I would have thought more. That's yeah, only very 25. good. Um, here on Amazon and a lot of really, really good yeah. reviews. Yeah, uh, totally reviews. cow. They come in a lot of colors. So if you want pink, more of a wood, uh, a marble, you, know, you gotta have that marble. Bamboo, uh, white marble, gray, a few different options there. Oh, that one's more expensive. This one's 30. Five dollars. You may want to click around and find that cheap. This is twenty-eight. All the different prices. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know the higher class ones. You got to pay extra for for those. Uh, so it looks like twenty-five is the cheapest so far. And one last one, twenty-four ninety-nine. That's the cheapest one. Um, so there you go. I found this really really nice, and mostly that cell phone holder is like a game changer. The thing is awesome. You get a notification, you can see it really quickly. And, uh, oh, and it does have a, I forgot to mention, it does have a uh, handle on the top. So um, you can see in some of these images that it has a handle built into the fabric right there. Oh yeah, no, that's very nice. There you go. The lap desk from Lap Tech, Lap Gear, I guess I should say. Um, $25, $25, and, um... Well worth it. There you go. You could use it as a TV tray, also, if you have to, you know. Yeah, eat some it's excellent, on. excellent. Uh, there you go. So, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are new. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadgets Warehouse. Fun. On. All right, we haven't heard from Mo in a bit, but that will end tonight with our most frequent contributor, 
Mo says, this is an old gadget, but I'm still using it today. Ooh. Let's take a look at his phone converter. Hmm. Hey, Dick and Jack. I ordered this on eBay, and it just came, and I wanted to show you what it was. Cool phone. It's an old rotary phone. It's supposed to be working. I'm gonna hook it up to my phone line. I hope it works. I'm dying to hear the ringing. It just brings back so many memories. So it turns out that the rotary phone doesn't work on the new digital lines that we have now. So uh -huh. I had to purchase this item. This is the pulse tone converter. So oh. you can use your rotary phone on the modern phone lines. And it's how much it cost me, almost $64. Oh my gosh. And um, this is the actual device itself. It came in this plastic bag in a giant box. Amazon one day free shipping. And you can see the two connections. This is a, a wire that comes out. No, no, you put your finger. <laughs> she doesn't know how to yeah, use it. Yeah, I don't know how to funny. use it. She doesn't even know how to use the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's one finger at a time. Take that. <laughs> Who are you calling? Who are you calling? My agent. I'm My agent. <laughs> I want a TikTok contract. Whoa, satisfying. So the pulse to tone converter worked perfectly. I made two phone calls, I called two different people, and now instead of uh, the handset, I don't think you're gonna hear the touch tone. Well, anyway, before I put the converter on, when you would um, turn the rotary phone, you wouldn't hear anything, N nothing would happen. Um, it was just dial tone, and that's all you heard. But now it converts, if I do one, it converts the rotary or the analog signal into a digital signal and you hear a beep like when you're pressing touch tone. Oh, so it works perfectly. So like through the if speaker. you have this phone and you want to use it on the new phone lines that we have these days, on the digital lines, then you buy that converter and it'll work perfectly. I'm uh, very happy with my purchase. I enjoy this phone, it's nostalgic, and it just brings back so many memories. Thank you, bye. That is awesome. Okay, so Mo said he spent $18 on the phone that he bought on eBay used. Um, and boy, that converted though, is 64 bucks. <laughs> I know, I know. I guess this is uh, like a limited market, you know, supply and yeah. demand. <laughs> supply he is low. The rotary phone without a converter allows you to receive calls and the phone would ring, but you are unable to dial out. The converter allows me to dial and make calls. That is interesting. Mo. That is so cool. I've been wondering, what am I going to do with, with uh, my phone here? Now, there you go. I have an now. option. <laughs> That is so funny. And I just imagine, I imagine that this would work in um, even like an office situation where, uh, you know, you got to dial nine to get out of the, you know, all that oh, would yes. just, just work. This phone is so old, it doesn't have a phone jack. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm looking at that. And this, this phone, it, it's, it's probably 10 pounds, no phone jack. Um oh. God. This was my. Is it, is it a Western Electric? It is. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Where would I? Where would I see? Um, I don't know. Um, okay. This is was my. I think it was my great uncle's phone. Oh you can see gosh. that uh, a few. There's like a few numbers on here. If you want to call the ambulance, the doctor, or oh, the fire. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Um got your area code and then he has his own number written on the top of it 
And uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, here it is. It's Stromberg Carlson. Oh yeah, it's a Stromberg that a Carlson. Very, that was a very high end name. Yeah, Stromberg Carlson. Yeah, but there is no Jack. I think that the you know the wire users go in there. I wonder if I open the bottom if there would be a Jack. But this thing is heavy. What is, that a, is that a battery in, in the? I have what no idea. Like a condenser. <laughs> That's the, uh, you know, capacitor. I just, you know, it's got to get some oomph. I have no idea <laughs> what that thing is. I can see the bells. Both bells are down here. Yeah, yeah. Through the... Amazing. It's, <laughs> it's hard to hold up. It's, it's so heavy. <laughs> it's hard to show to the thing. It's so darn heavy. Um, but yeah, there you go. Well, you know where to go for a converter That's if you decide... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I've never had a phone line, you know, I've only ever had my oh, cell phone. Oh, how interesting. Oh N my God. My whole life. I've never, ever had a landline other than when I was living with my parents. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that's, <laughs> I don't, I don't think I ever will. I don't even know if my, my house has to have a phone jack somewhere. I don't know. I I'm wouldn't know sure. where it is. Yeah. That's a weird thought. My phone house has to have a phone jack somewhere. But well, how, I, I, your house is brand new. You were the first one there, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got it's got to be in the kitchen. There's got to be a phone jack in the kitchen. But off the top of my head, I I would not know where it is. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is a really crazy uh, gadget, and I. I guess I don't, what signal is sent through when you're using pulse? Is there actually like a, there's no sound like with tone. Does it modulate the inner? Like I'm wondering if now with today's technology, there'd be some way to listen and, and how, and the phone, you know, company could do a pulse conversion. Cause it doesn't seem like it's that crazy of a technology. Yeah, I, I don't know. I wonder. I wonder what I knew goes when through I the was line. a kid. You know that. You know the operator knew how much money you put in by the tones. Oh. You know, like the the, qu <laughs> the quarter hit a big bell and a dime hit a different bell. And the reason I know that is the hoodlum kids <laughs> in Brooklyn would break open telephones. And take the bell system out and then just carry it around with them. <laughs> and, and then, then any time. Yes, exactly. They, they, she'd go, uh, I want to call California. All right, that's $3. Ding, ding, with a spoon. Ding, ding, ding. That is so funny. So a few yeah. chat people are helping me out here. In Twitch chat, pulse dialing just rapidly hangs up the line. Um, in a landline telephone, bells or ring tones were rung by Im impressing a 60 to 105 volt something. I've heard of the the little box that, um, oh my gosh, the uh, author of Ghost in the Wire, um, I forgot his name, uh, the blue box, the, uh, anyway, I forget his name. Um, but yeah, he was like one of the famous hackers. Um, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. All public services. Oh, all public services digital. That is so interesting. I guess it is. I guess you're right. It is all digital now. Um, yeah. I, I know Wozniak Jeff, did it, but I didn't think he invented it. Um, Blue box. Steve Jobs made one. Yeah, I know Steve and Jobs and, and um, <laughs> yeah, I know Wozniak. He made one. Yeah, and Wozniak made or I know Wozniak made one. I don't know if. Uh, Kevin Mitnick is the person I'm thinking of. Kevin Mitnick was oh, okay. someone who, who made that. Um, anyway, that is really cool. A really awesome gadget, Mo. And uh, thanks for sharing. That is, that is incredible. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so, Mo, you get the October issue of Mad Magazine. We're looking for more. Uh, we have, I think, one or two videos uh, from people who have sent in before. We would love if, if someone who's never made a video has done it. Uh, people who have done it said, oh, this is so easy. Can I do more? 
Yes, we please. Say yes. But <laughs> if you've never made a video, one to three minutes, okay? Just use your smartphone, iPhone, horizontal. Just make sure we can see the gadget and hear you. And anything to do with a gadget, okay? Old, old, old technology like Mo just did. Something brand new. Something you bought and think it's a piece of crap. Something you bought and love. Just let us know. Make a little video. One to three minutes. Upload it to YouTube. There's a little drop-down menu. You can click unlisted. And that will give you a URL. And send that URL to us. It's mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv and if we show it and we're showing 99% of everything we get you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine autographed to you if you live in the US and parts of Canada <laughs> okay turns out that some places in Canada let me send Mads through um uh, if you live anywhere else in the world, I will autograph a now 40-year-old Alfred E. Newman photo, send you a high-res image, print out at your end, and it'll look like the real thing. That's it. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it. If you need inspiration, uh, just go into your Amazon purchases and just browse and see if you've <laughs> bought anything. It's like a gadget, you know. Just, there you go. There we would love go. to see it. Um, yes. With that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the Gizwiz letters now. Now. All right. Our email is from Rich Ritter. And Rich writes, Dick and Chad, I received an email from Woot.com uh, with a bamboo pillow advertisement. I thought you would be interested in knowing that this pillow has self-adapting technology. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Uh, there it is. Self-adapting uh, self technology doesn't require you to make any adjustments. Uh, you know, I hate oh, that I, rock I pillow, it. you know, that I have to... to <laughs> I have to hit some buttons for that rock pillow to adjust to my head. Horrible. But, but, but just go back to that for a minute because it says, um, doesn't require you to make any adjustments or you can gather or spread out the fill and shape the pillow to allow the pillow to contour, contour to your neck. <laughs> so it's it auto adjusting. <laughs> Unless you want to adjust it. No adjusting needed unless you don't like it and you want to adjust it. If the auto adjust is not what you want, <laughs> right. adjust it yourself. It will always be comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you can adjust it. That's very funny. That is ridiculous. Um, that is a riot. That never goes flat. That's another good thing. <laughs> never goes uh, flat. Rich, thank you so much. That's very funny. That is funny. We need technology. Beep boop, beep Everywhere, boop. Everywhere, and no matter what. I need my bamboo pillows to have technology. Everything's technology if you frame it correctly. Thank you so much, Rich. That's true. That's true. <laughs> for that. Also, thank you to our patrons. If you are a Patreon member, thank you so much for your support. You guys are incredible. Thank you so, so, so much for your generosity. Uh, those folks that we're talking about, they headed on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz and they supported the show. Big thanks to you guys. If you like the gizwiz and want to give back, please consider giving back. You can do so in two ways. You can head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz and support us there. Or you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there you'll find a PayPal link so that you can donate one time or reoccurring via PayPal. Those of you who support via Patreon get a little bit of a bonus, which is that you guys get to vote on the Crappy Corner themes, and sometimes we have other Patreon exclusive uh, interactions with the show. However you support, thank you so, so, so much for your support of the Gizwiz. Okay. 
Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can catch the show live, and we will be having a little bit of a schedule change next week. That is listed on the top of the website here in red. We'll be on Wednesday instead of on Thursday. But while we are live, join the chat room. Here they are. I normally hide them behind a login screen, but all the chat room is here. So if you want to chat along with us while we're live, please do so. We absolutely love it. If you missed an episode, head on over to gizwiz.tv, and we got all of our past episodes there. You can also subscribe on YouTube, on Apple Podcasts, and we have an RSS feed for you as well. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website, where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you're wondering, what's the link to that gadget? You know, you mentioned this <laughs> thing. Well, head on over to gizwiz.biz. That search function is super useful. I use it all the time. And uh, check out any of the gadgets that you want there. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? It's the game show online. And this is the gadget, the whole gadget. Um, it's uh, obvious to me that this is a toothpick holder. You know, you gotta keep your toothpicks horizontal in that little hole right there. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. I'm sorry, I just, I did just give it away. But uh, if you think if, if you think you know better, uh, get a guess in Six Mad Magazines for correct answers. But if you're funny, clever, or hilarious, there uh, you are. You're entered into getting 12 Mad Magazines. That's a total of 16 Mad Magazines up for grabs at Gizwiz.biz to figure out what the heck this gadget is. Get a guess in. Uh, once again, we will be live next week on Wednesday, so we will see you and there. And back to Thursdays after that. Correct. And that about wraps up our show. See you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>